Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the Riverside Theatre for the performance of Sleeping Beauty. If any unlikely events occur, we must advise you to leave to the closest and safest exit. The exits are located to the left, right, and main entrance of the theatre. May I please also take this time to ask you to switch off all mobile phones, and I'm afraid all video and recording equipment is prohibited. This performance contains smoke effects, strobe lighting, cheesy jokes, and lots of Christmas festive cheer. Thank you, and enjoy the performance. Yours, Tinkerbell. Yeah, and the day. And Tinkerbell. And the day. And Tinkerbell. Okay. <laughs> I'm bored. Don't need to start that again. Decorators to do the back pallet. You could go and watch the paint dry. <coughs> or what's about the beans sprouting in the palace gardens? You could go and watch them grow. Mm. 
What about the television? There's, there's Chuggington and Waybaloo and... Uh, no, I want something exciting to happen. <coughs> a riot, a revolution maybe, or perhaps a battle, or a new rad at Ye Altonian Towers. Well, I have it much more exciting than all of those things put together. A baby. A what? You know, a baby. Pink little squirmy thing. Arms, legs, screams a lot. Mm, that certainly sounds exciting enough. But where can we get one? <laughs> The time flies by in pantomime land, and the Queen has a baby. Oh, oh joy. The royal physicians all crowd round to look. Thank goodness it isn't a boy. What a puppet, a treasure, a beautiful thing. She's everyone's favourite child, but she hasn't a name which will make life hard when it comes to the christening. Maybe a hamster would have been easier. <laughs> Nonsense, now talk to me. We need to come up with a name for this child. We can't call her a pink little squirm with her arms and legs that screams a lot for the rest of her life. I mean, imagine what would happen when she went to school. <laughs> Andrew, hear miss. Peter, hear miss. Sandra, hear miss. Pink little squirm. Yes, yes, I get the point, but how are we going to choose? There are so many names. Gather together, everybody in the palace, make a suggestion, and we'll pick the one we like best. Excellent idea, my dear. Sergeant Wood. Sire? Organise it. Yes, sire. Now, boys and girls, what do you think we should call the baby? Yes, boys and girls, help us. Lily. Lily. Peter. <laughs> that's it, that's what we'll call her. Well, Lily. That, well, that's that then. Now we can go ahead and organise a christening. But who shall we invite? We'll make a list. Sergeant Wood. Your Highness. Pencil and paper. Certainly, Your Highness. Now, let me think. There's Bill and Ben and Igle Piggle and Clive the Frog and Aunt Edna and the Postman. Then there's Cindy and Barbie and Batman and Robin, the entire cast of EastEnders, Cinderella. Cinderella? Oh, wrong pantomime, eh? Yeah, and you're going to have to pay another 20 quid just to go see it. I mean, see ya. Then there's see the ya. fairies, good and bad, just the good will do. We don't want them nasty fairies here. Well, now that that's settled, it is. And all you fabulous boys and girls, my very, very great pleasure to introduce the most gorgeously, radiantly, and beautiful creature ever to have graced my poor arm of the eyeballs. Delightfully lovely lady whose physical perfection shines like the sun. Now, boys and girls, when I bring her on, I'd like you all to clap and cheer as loud as you can. Can you do that? Yeah! yeah. You can? Yeah! yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay then, then may I present the one, the only, the fabulous team. And we use my magical powers to give the princess some very special gifts. Now where is my catalogue? Oh, um, oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get on with it, shall we? <coughs> Princess, you'll be brainier than, than Carol Vorderman. Princess, you'll be more musical than, than Lady Gaga. Oh. oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but didn't we have this joke last year? Don't <coughs> interrupt. Now it's time for the cake. <laughs> Why, of course not. And so I bear no ill will. I too shall bestow a gift upon the child. She will indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all those who know her. But on, when the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she will prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. <laughs> Then you can undo this fearful curse. Oh, no, sire. Cruella's powers are far too great. But I can help. If the boys and girls will help, will you help me, boys and girls? Yeah! yeah. Then repeat after me. To the left and right of me. To the left and right of me. Above <coughs> and below me. Above and below me. I awaken the spirit of nature. I awaken the spirit of nature. And magic within me. And magic within me. 
sweet princess, <coughs> if through this wicked witch's trick a spindle, should your finger prick, a ray of hope will still make in this, the gift I give at thee, not in death, but just in sleep, the faithful prophecy you shall keep, and from this slumber you shall wake, when true love's kiss spell shall break, for true love conquers all. But the king, still fearful for his daughter's life, did then and their decree that every spinning wheel in the kingdom should on that very day be burnt. <coughs> Sir, it was done. Many sad years passed by for the king, the queen, and their people. Oh! I know, tragic as it is. But, and this is a very big but, as the time for the princess's 16th birthday drew near. Well, it's beauty's 16th birthday and all is well. <laughs> Her hair, 
She'll slowly die while her eyes glaze and stare. <laughs> old Baron Von Winkle persuaded me to take out a loan. Well, boys and girls, I can't pay him back. Aww. Aww. It's skint. Aww. Honestly, these bankers, these bankers these days, they're going to ruin us all, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. They really are. Oh, it's so dreadful. You know, a woman's worries are never over. You know, sometimes I wish I was a man. Do <laughs> you mind? I'm a lady. <laughs> Something will come up, it usually does. I must have been having a bit of a 
the senior moments. I haven't introduced myself, have I? No! Well, my name is Dame Tizzy Biz. How are you guys? We're good! Are you good? Yeah! You don't sound too sure. I'll try that again, shall we? My name is Dame Tizzy Biz. How do you do? Good! That was, that was okay. Anyway, can you all do me a favour? Yeah! Brilliant. Now, whenever I come on stage, you see, and I, whenever I come on stage, you see me, yes? Um, I want you all to say, hello, Dame Tizzy Wiz. Can you all do that? Yeah! yeah. Don't sound too sure about that, so we'll give it a bit of a practice. It's okay. <laughs> all the boys and girls were doing it, but I don't think all the grown-ups were doing it. So this time, I'll do it again, but I want all the boys and girls and all the grown-ups are doing it. But boys and girls, if you're sat next to a grown-up who's not doing it, they have to buy you a present. Oh. Yes, try getting yourself after that one. So we'll give it one more try. Hello! It was better, but I think some of the grown-ups owe you guys presents. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen... I, I can't remember why I came in here. Harry! Oh, I'm in such a city place, I, I can't remember. Harry! Oh, that was it. I'm looking for my good-for-nothing son, Harry. Have you seen him? It's about this tall. Looks like a proper wheels, even though his name's Harry. It's Harry! Oh, it's Faces. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, can I pull yours? <laughs> so rude. When I was your age, my mother said if I put ugly faces like that... Like what? Like that, they would last like that forever. <laughs> well, you can't see you at what? <laughs> you? Now, where have you been all this time? You should have been here half an hour ago. Why? What happened? <laughs> can be, naughty boy. Do you want some? No, no, no. Can be, you. Don't answer that. Anyway, where have you been all this time? I've been looking everywhere for you. That's no good, I expect. Well, er, uh, actually, I've been to the doctors. Oh. 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 What was wrong? Well, he said, hello, Harry. I haven't seen you in a while. And I said, I know I've been ill. Silly <laughs> <laughs> boy. Why did you get it? I swallowed a bone. Are you joking? No, I really did swallow a bird. I said, don't do doctor. I keep thinking of a bell. Did he say anything for that? Yeah, he said, take these tablets, and if they don't work, give me a ring. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know, they're not the best. <laughs> <laughs> I said, doctor, doctor, I've got terrible wind. Did he give you anything for that? Yeah, kite! <laughs> <laughs> Where have you really been? <clears throat> Eavesdropping. Oh, dirty boy! No, no, you know, eavesdropping. Listening on uh, Baron von Winkle's two cronies blank and check. Oh, really? What's the news? An ill wind blows no good. <laughs> well, you can say that again. That carry from last night just doesn't agree with me. That's going to linger. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Because that wasn't a sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, the Baron sent the blank and check around to collect. Collect what? The fair instalment. Instalment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The federal payment on the, the new loan you've took out with the Baron's new financial planning company. Can't change that happening. He hasn't come to collect the first or second one yet. Precisely. So if he doesn't get the doctor, it is foreclosing. He can't do that. Why not? Because I don't know what it means. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, no, he can. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, no, he can. Oh, no, he can. That, no, that small print was so small I couldn't even read it. No, it didn't make any sense anyway. It's not supposed to make sense. Oh. Here we go. Let's have a look. Another unrehearsed predicament. <laughs> the indenture, the third instalment, <coughs> subcal six, paragraph three, clearly states that the agreement will be null and void or the advent of dues in respect to the said loan between the two parties. 
In other words, we've had it. <laughs> well, well, um, well, something we can sell. Well, that old thing. No, we can't sell that. It belongs to Princess Lily. These pretty stones, they could be diamonds. <laughs> now you look here, I promised my mother, your grandmother, Dame Maggie, who promised her mother, my, my grandmother, your great-grandmother, Dame Lizzie, who promised her mother, my great-grandmother, your great-great-grandmother, Dame uh, downtown, that when the time comes we shall return the hair comb to its rightful owner, Princess Lily. Oh, I need to lie down. <laughs> New combs for old. You give me the collie wobbles. And me. <laughs> the what? The collie wobble. Well, keep them to yourself. Okay. Anyway, I have a proposition for you. Oh, yes. New combs for old. That sounds familiar. Don't you mean lamps? Oh, my bad, wrong panto. <laughs> if I meant lamps, I would have said lamps. I mean combs, you foolish old hag. Keep your hair on. Combs. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> Actually, we are interested in selling. No, we are not. I may be interested. <laughs> How much do you want for it? It's not for sale because it doesn't belong to us. We're just looking at it for a hundred years. And that's the end of it. Anyway, I'm off to get my big toe wax. Trot again! Bye! Ta-da! Seem like a sensible young man. Perhaps we could uh, do business. <laughs> yeah, sure. How could I be of assistance? Give me the comb, and I'll cross your palm with silver. Um, well, gold. Mm, well, it's, it's not going to be easy, but. Sorry, uh, uh, there you are. Business. With your mother. Do you mind? No, we yeah. don't. But <laughs> hand me it once. We're here. Very important business. <laughs> now, you two, look into my eyes, look into my eyes, not around the eyes, into the eyes. Three, two, one, you're under. Now, whenever you hear the word money, you're going to hit each other over the head really hard with your sticks. All right? <laughs> we understand. Good. And three, two, one, you're back in the room. <laughs> Remember, Harry, we have unfinished business. Bye. 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 Um, well, I, I mean, um, <laughs> I haven't seen in a while, but uh, if you want the money, <laughs> then come back there. Sounds good to me. Come on, let's go. Wait, uh, what? can I get away with that? What? Can I get away with that? <laughs> what? What well, are you just said? What's all this noise about? I'm trying to catch up with my baby sleep. If you've got no rocket, you can catch up with your baby sleep. <laughs> How very dare you? Anyway, I don't have any money. Right, you're listening here. We're being sent round. Round the bed? Yeah, we've been sent round the bed. Let me handle it. Alright, alright. We've been sent round to collect the money. You are vulnerable. <laughs> Manny. Everyone loves Manny, don't they? Yes, of course you do. Manny, Manny, Manny. It's so funny. In a rich man's world. It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, money, money. We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the prize tag. Oh, I think all that money's got to their heads. Let's, let's go. <laughs>
Sam is coming to. Right, I suppose you'd better go. You want to bed over there? Should be able to oblige. But don't be long. <laughs> hey, look, what's all this noise then? What's he doing here then? Are you lost old lad? Oh dear, how did that happen? Where's your owner? Did he fall off? Oh, I suppose that's why you've got such a long face. Yow! Well, I, guess, well, I suppose we should go find your owner. Oh, wait a minute, I recognise that monogram. You're Prince Justin's horse. Well, I'm never. Who's supposed to meet him here? Is he alright? <laughs> I'm in Chad and Spreckle, they've been rampaging and running amok. Rampaging and running amok, you say? Sounds serious to me. Is this true? Have you lot been rampaging and running amok? Had it! <laughs> now, Sarge, uh, what's a mock mean? Give me strength. Did you not go to school? Yes, Sarge. <laughs> okay, tell me two days of the week I begin with tea. <laughs> Today. <laughs> not go on a rampage and run them off. I take full responsibility. Here's my note of honour and intention. What's that? An IOU. An IOU? Well, this is no good for me. I can't pay the baron with this. I want cash. Well, the truth is, there's been a minor technicality. We haven't been paid yet. Prince Justin's got our wages, and as soon as we find him, we'll settle up pronto. But in the meantime, please accept this horse as a down payment. What am I going to do with a horse? Well, ride it. That's what you normally do with a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know. I suppose we'd best go find Prince Justin for our wages. On the double, quick march! <laughs> I'm in here. 
Ah, there you are. If you want a job done, then you do it yourself. I entirely agree, my darling. Baron von Winkley, Winkley. It's so delightful to see you. I wish I could see the film was mutual. Baron? What? Do, don't be too hasty. If you had to pop the question, I would be tempted. Tempted? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, marriage. I still miss my ex-wife. But my aim's getting better. <laughs> it's my opinion that it's high man to be yourself. It would be the makers of a fine, exquisite wine. Do you think so? I know so. At the moment you're like a big bunch of grapes. It's my job to tread all over you until you mature into something I'd actually have dinner with. Now, about this loan repayment. You can't fuck me off. If you don't pay up, I will have no alternative but foreclosure. I will lose my tablet. Ah. Ah. If you were my husband, I'd poison your tea. If you was my wife, I'd drink it. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Why, what have you done? <laughs> Who are you, anyway? Prince Justin at your service. Well, I've never heard of you. You know. Baby, 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 oh! Oh, stop it, Andy! <laughs> You're a thoroughly unpleasant man. <laughs> oh. I'm sure I'm not as smelly as your teachers. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. And I wonder, he's a thief as well. A thief? Yes. I'm afraid before you got here, he robbed me. <laughs> Well, here, let me give you something to make up for it. No, no, no. I wouldn't hear of it. Besides, it's not the money you see, it's the sentimental value. And what on earth did he steal? It sounds silly, but he stole an old comb that once belonged to a beautiful princess, didn't he, boys and girls? Yes, he did. You see, my father sent me to meet all the princesses in the land, and well, I seem to have no luck so far. Oh, if I were you, young man, I would forget all about it. Many have tried, and all have come to a sticky end. What do you mean? Well, it all started a long, long time ago. A hundred years? Shh! Don't interrupt me. <laughs> now, like I said, a hundred years ago, there was once a castle with a king and a queen, grounds, Courtiers, guards, you know, that type of thing. It stood somewhere over there, and for all you know, it still may. Well, I must go see for myself. Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry yourself. Many have tried and all have failed. Some say black magic is involved. Black magic, really? I don't believe in all the hocus pocus. There's no such thing. Really? Well, we shall have to see about that. By all the power of dark and unmanageable things, using black magic, poison and rhyme, sent Prince Justin back through time.
one will never be ready for Princess Lily's birthday party. The cake has to be made and all these fruits have been thrown out. We're going as fast as we can then, Mrs. Wiz. What needs to go in the mixture there? Look, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm not even sure if I'm awake at the moment. Come along, come along. This is an emergency. An emergency? Well, <coughs> I must always help in an emergency. What would you like me to do? I don't suppose you could help blowing up balloons, could you? Certainly. It would be a pleasure. Oh, well, what a wonderful man, isn't he? Yeah. Such a wonderful man. Stop dribbling in the mixture. <laughs> Add the eggs. Add the eggs. Add the eggs. Where's the eggs? Where's the eggs? Where's the eggs? In the box. That's usually where you find them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to sing a song, boys and girls. You want to sing a song? Yeah! yeah. Pat a cake, pat a cake, do you all know it? Yeah. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> so after three, we go to six. Pat a cake, pat a cake. One, two, three. Pat a cake, pat a cake, cake is fun. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and pat it and mark it with me. Pat it in the oven for babies and me. Oh, that was wonderful. Now, what do we need to make a cake? I wonder. Does anyone know? No? What do you think? Sugar. Eggs. Eggs. Sprinkle. Hundreds of thousands. Let's add hundreds of thousands. Sir. Butter. Butter. Is it butter? Yes, yeah, correct. We need butter. Butter. Flour. 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 Yes. Flour. What else? Milk. Oh, I'm not sure about milk. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we add some cream, shall we? Yeah. Let's add cream, yes. And what, uh, what, what do we need to add to the top? What do we put on the top? Chocolate! Chocolate! Jam! 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 Absolutely, that's the last ingredient. Oh, God! Oh, for God's sake, I have you. Sorry, but I'm not even sure if I'm awake at the moment. Not sure if you're awake. <laughs> what a funny thing to say. Look, why don't you put those balloons down so I can see who you are? Very well. My goodness. <clears throat> you're... Well, you're... What? Well, beautiful. Oh, oh. Please forgive me. How rude. It's just, I must be dreaming. This can't really be happening to me. But my name is Justin. Prince Aww. Justin. Um, Prince? Yes. I've been sent on a mission, you see. How exciting. Not really, it's my father's fault. If he hadn't sent me all across the land to meet all the good princesses, then, well, I would have never met you. And that makes me really miserable. You're the most beautiful girl in the world, and well, no one could hold a candle to you. And since you're not a princess, and well, I must be dreaming, then well, I can't really marry you. I am a princess. Even though I want to. No, you're not listening. I am a princess. Did you just say you were a princess? <laughs> did she just say she's a princess? Yes! I did. And then I'm not dreaming. I did. And then if I ask you to marry me, you would say, yes. Right. If I'm not dreaming, and you say I can marry you, then, well, my troubles really are over. 
Well, not exactly. I mean, you have to ask me first, and and then you have to ask permission from Daddy. He's the king. I'm sure he'll say yes. <coughs> well then, Princess. I don't even know your name. Princess Lily. Princess Lily. Will you marry me? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. <laughs> Oh, what a shame. Perhaps you need a magic carrot. 
Aquila, I should have known you were the cause. You pulled a veil over my head of fairy gauze. <laughs> and what would I do with magic carrots anyway? Why don't you work it out yourself, fairy from? Okay. <laughs> and you better hurry before your wand fails to glitter. For my present is my secret to fluttering fairy glitter. <laughs> I must stay strong. Now, there's something I've missed. Oh, where did I go wrong? Oh, this is giving me brain ache. My thumbs are out of twiddle. Goodbye, boys and girls. Bye. Bye. Yeah, come on for Big Key. Hurry, yeah. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. Hi. 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 Well, as you know, my mum's making a cake, right? And she's making a carrot cake. And she's told me <laughs> to, uh, to cut the carrots for it. So, one second, I'm borrowing her Baron von Riegel's guillotine. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. And for this, I need three volunteers. Is there any volunteers out there? Um, ooh, I've got my hair cut in my ground. Here we go. Um, you at the top there, you there, and you, sir, there. Please come down as quick as you can. Come on down. <laughs> as you can see, this blade is real. Yeah, can you see that? And remember, children, don't play with blades till you get to the age of 11. <laughs> um, right, uh, um, but you there, can you just uh, get on your hands and knees like so? Thank you, and uh, when you want to take a seat here? <laughs> um, right, ladies and gentlemen, real blade, I'll put that there. Um, here we go, we've got the carrots. Um, would you like to hold them, sir? Well, actually, you can hold them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll put one in like so. Take the blade and just to show that they're complete. The blade's completely sharp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you saw it. You saw it. Here we go. Right. Uh, you sir. You're looking uh, You're looking lovely today. Uh, Anybody want to get the head chopped off? Come on, anybody? <laughs> Any takers? No! Great! <laughs> the boy over there. Pardon? The boy over there. No, thank you, Mark. <laughs> 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 uh, I can't do it myself. Yes! Can you please have the camera please? <laughs> 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 the boy and children remember um, don't take blades into school get someone else to take them in for you <laughs> right um, could one of you please take this and just give me it when I <laughs> <laughs> please thank you uh, right uh, can we, um, please wish me luck because I've only rehearsed this about five minutes before I did it so uh, hey um Hopefully this will work. Um, but hey, I'm just going to save the towel. I'm going to save the towel here. Oh, that's the last volunteer. So you can save the towel. <laughs> um, okay, um, so can you just hold this up like this? Perfect, you. Um, right, carrots are in. Here goes. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> this is completely safe, I think. I'm very, I'm very, very at all. Um, sir, can you please pass me the blade now? Thank you. Here we go. Don't worry about it, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, um.
<laughs> well, that was better than I expected. <laughs> right, um, now that I've chopped my meat to carry it up, I'd best give her a call. Bob, I'm home! <laughs> No. You disappoint me. Not until you give me some gold. <laughs> <laughs> Two bags of gold or six. <laughs> I have one. Anyway, much good may do you. Now give me the code. No. <laughs> Shall I give her the code, kids? <laughs> We haven't located Prince Justin. Baby, 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 oh! So I propose that we split up and reconnoitre the area in hers. There's a wild animal on the loose. A wild animal, you say? What sort of wild animal? A big hairy brute. A gorilla. In the army, we know all about logistics and planning, so you've definitely come to the right man. Now, tell me, can you give me a detailed description? What exactly does this gorilla look like? Well, can you tell me? What does it look like? Your Really wicked and 
bed. Bye! him. Now let me see. Everything's cloudy and rather dim. The weight, the mists are swelling and beginning to clear. <gasps> it's the prince and he's, he's gone back in time. Oh dear. I need your help children. Will you help me? Yeah! Yeah! Please yeah! after me. Prince Justin, come back to us before it's too late. Prince Justin, come back to us before it's too late. Don't let Coella ruin your fate. Yeah! Justin, have you any idea where you've been? Well, I'm not sure, really. One minute I was in a, talking to an old woman, and the next I was in a giant castle, or where I met the girl of my dreams, and... Well, that's the thing. Has this all just been one big dream? Because if it has, then, well, my heart will be broken forever. <laughs> oh. Not exactly. You see, the girl you met lived a hundred years ago. One hundred years ago? But that's impossible. I spoke to her, I sang to her. We were even engaged to be married. It can't possibly have been a hundred years ago. I'm afraid it was. You see, the old woman you met wasn't an old woman at all, but a wicked old fairy in disguise. She transported you back in time. Why would she do a thing like that? I should imagine she wanted you temporarily out of the way so she could get a nasty little hand on the princess's hair comb. That's it. She must have done something to it. Something evil and wicked. But now I've brought you back to fulfill the ancient prophecy. Prophecy? What prophecy? <clears throat> the princess has been asleep for a hundred years, and it is your destiny to wake her up with a single kiss. But she wasn't asleep when I saw her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but later that same day, she pricked her finger on a spindle and slept for a hundred years. And knowing she's due to wake up, she wants to make her comb her hair with a poison comb so that she would sleep for eternity. You must go to the castle, Prince Justin. There is only one way to break the spell. And when you get there, you must kiss her once on the lips. Now repeat after me, children. Prince Justin, you need to go. Prince Justin, you, you need, you need to, go. to go. Don't let Coella ruin the show. Don't, Don't let Coella ruin the show.
princess did so make true love's kiss. Then I shall kiss her. Have it. <laughs> <laughs> Resolved for another year. A Merry Christmas to all. <laughs> <laughs> 